Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're talking about how to build your own PC, and this episode specifically, we're talking about the RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory, and it's called memory because it's what remembers what's going on on your computer at the moment. Unlike the hard drive, which stores everything on an ongoing basis, your files and anything you want to keep for a long time, RAM is short term. It's anything that you're working on right now. It's important to have good RAM and a lot of RAM potentially for your system, depending on what you want to do with your system. If you're building a more modest system and you have a lower end motherboard and processor, chances are you might be using DDR2 RAM. This is an older form of RAM, reasonably new in the grand scheme of things, but it is still not the newest one out there. Newer systems, especially more high performing ones, use new DDR3. That's the newest and fastest. It's important to match the RAM that you have to your system. DDR2 will not fit in a DDR3 slot and vice versa. RAM also comes in a few different speeds to match the CPU and the rest of your system. So you want to make sure that your motherboard and your CPU are matched with the RAM. So make sure to go to the specs on your system, find out what type of RAM it will take, whether it's DDR2 or DDR3, and what speed you need. Most motherboards will have two or four slots for RAM on this, and we have four across here, two black and two blue. Now this is important because you typically want to match pairs when you're buying RAM for these systems. So instead of putting one big stick into one of these slots, you'll probably want to separate it into one and three or two and four. So you've got two black slots and two blue slots. You want to match those two for something called dual channel. This allows you to get maximum performance out of your RAM when it's in pairs. Now for this system, we've chosen Kingston Value RAM, DDR3 in this case, at uh, 1066 megahertz. It goes up to 1600 for DDR3. In this case, we don't need that much for this particular system and the CPU we've gotten. The value RAM is a little more cost effective than some of the higher performance alternatives out there that have fins and other heat dissipation, and it works perfectly fine for the most part, unless you're really going into something that's hugely high performance. If you are, you can look at something like this Corsair RAM, which has fins for heat dissipation and gives you a little bit of a boost. To install the RAM on the system, first we're going to push back the little tabs on either end of the slot that we're going to use, like so. And then we're going to look at Internally, we've got a notch on the RAM and we've got a little bump inside the slot, so we want to make sure that they're matched up. If you put them in the opposite direction and they don't match up, then it won't go in and you might break something. So, first of all, match those two directions and then push it into the slot like so. Now we've got it lined up and to get it in, we just push firmly, but carefully. And typically, if you do that, the tabs on either end will snap into place on the outside of the RAM. We're going to do the same on the slot down. So again, instead of doing a blue a slot now, we're going to put it into the black slot that uh, is so the second uh, black slot in here, just to make sure they're matched. Put them in like so, push it in, and there we go. Now we have two slots left that we can put other RAM into if we want to update the system. Now these days I'd suggest you start with at least four gigabytes of RAM. In this case, we've got four gigabytes in here in a matched pair of two gigabytes and two gigabytes. But go higher if you can, because you want to be able to grow down the road if you want to update your operating system to something that requires more resources or you want to run faster, bigger, more intensive programs. It's always good to have the option to build up if you want to down the road. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you how to install other parts into this system. And don't forget to check out the show notes at butterscotch.com where we show you notes for all the parts in this series.